the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. You turn around and put Deontay back on a pay-per-view because this one hypothetically is successful, or do you do what you said, put it on Fox and open it up to so they can see the heavyweight champ of the world? I mean, I, that's a decision I think him and his team are going to have to make, you know? One thing people get misconstrued is like Al pushes guys to do this. No, Al allows fighters and, and teams to make decisions, you know, and that's why he's a great person to work with. And, uh, and I think his team's done a good job, so they'll, they'll get to work. But I thought he doesn't exist. <laughs> nah, he doesn't. I mean, so so talk to me a little bit about that. I mean, Bob Arum is out here saying, you know, Heyman doesn't exist, but then they're simultaneously saying Carl Moretti think, sent an offer to, think, to, to Angel I mean, I, Garcia. I, mean, I think they wish he didn't exist because maybe they, they'd be able to, you know, do better with their stables and, and the fights they're putting on. But I mean, everyone, is, you know, it's just, it, it's funny that someone who, who's that age, you know, is, is, is making joke or fun. I mean, it's not, it's not even funny. As a guy that works close with Al and most promoters, uh, wh what do you feel about this Crawford, Bob Arum, Earl Spence situation? Um, obviously, I know you've seen the video of the two meeting and Earl saying you never sent me an offer to Bob, you know, letting him know like you. Well, my thing is like, so so if you're able to make Pacquiao Mayweather, then there's no, you should be able to make any fight. You know what I'm saying? If you could, Pacquiao Mayweather, Al made that, right? Mm -hmm. Al made it with top rank, right? So if he was able to make that fight, you'd be able to make any fight, you know? The, the, the real thing here is the fighters are going to want to fight. But Earl Spence is in a position where he's in a great spot. He's got Mikey Garcia. He's got Sean Porter. He's got Keith Thurman. He's got a lot of great fights for him. And, and Crawford's in a horrible spot. He's fighting Louis Clausen. I mean, let's be realistic. Louis Clausen is a great champion. He's a good fighter. But, I mean, he's past his prime. And it's not the fights that people want to see. So if, if I'm if I'm Crawford, I'm, I think I'm putting a little more pressure on, on, on my promotion company, on my, on my team, to, to try to make these big fights happen, you know? Speaking of making big fights happen, I'm sure you heard the offer. It, it was official from Carl Moretti for Danny Garcia. $3 million for Danny Garcia. That's, that's exactly what I want. I want your that's opinion nothing. on whether or that's not nothing. it was worth Danny it. Danny Garcia is worth way more than $3 million for that fight. Now, Danny what about Garcia, to those people that say, well, he only got $2 million versus Thurman? Trust me, he, he didn't make $2 million versus Thurman. So, 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 would you fight Crawford if you're Danny Garcia for $3 million? No, I mean I did a show on it. I did no, a show on it saying absolutely. no. I think okay. I think at least maybe 4.6 plus pay per view upside. Yeah. Well, at, at the end of the day, believe it or not, Crawford is undefeated. He is the top pound for pound guy. He is the champion, but he's the B side in the fight. Garcia is way more known than Crawford is. That's just reality. But right now, you know that Crawford's doing more viewership numbers. Garcia versus Sean averaged about six. No, well, you're talking about ESPN and and and, and, and premium and, cable and, and Showtime. So it's a big difference. You, you get what I'm saying? Now, now there's been fights where Crawford didn't do so well. And I'm not knocking Crawford. Crawford's a tremendous fighter. You know, he's, he's a top pound for pound fighter. But you know, I, you look at Garcia's resume, and you look at Crawford's resume, and it's not comparable. The guys he's fought in, the lot, the the, the long. So outside looking in, hypothetically speaking, what you think is going to take to make a fight of that caliber? You don't even have to pin it on Danny. For Crawford to get a PBC top five welterweight, what's that offer got to look like? How, how, what's it got? What's those lot, terms got to be? A lot, lot more than three million. Okay, a lot by two, you know, what, six you're talking? Yeah, I think that's, a, that, you know, when, when you're discussing offers like that, they're the one that want to make the fight. They got a big bank, come offer, offer something, you know. I'll tell you one thing, any fighter, any, no, there's no PBC fighter that's struggling for money. Not one, not from the low-level guys to the top-level guys. So, so they got to come with an offer. And, and I think, you know, the teams can make a deal. What about Maurice Hooker's but, manager? But I'll tell you, speaking of that, I'd rather, I'd rather watch uh, Spence versus Thurman, me personally. Versus Thurman? Yeah, I think I want to give Thurman a little bit more time to get right. Yeah, no, well, I'm not saying next. I'm just saying if I had to, if I had to pick one fight in the welterweight division, I like Spence and Thurman. I think it's a great fight, and I, and I think people are forgetting about Thurman. But Thurman's a good boxer. He knows what he's doing. He can punch. You know, it's a good fight. Definitely. Where do you, like, when do you foresee that happening? 2019, I mean, yeah, 2020? I, mean, I, I couldn't give you an exact timetable. You know, no, not exact. I mean, I think 2019, 2020 is for sure. I mean, the next year or two, that fight should. Should occur at some point. Okay, but, okay. I mean, like I said, there's you know, Thurman, Porter, Garcia. I mean, all those guys that fight each other. Like I said, Ugas is going to be, a, you know, he could be a surprise in, in that whole mix. But that'll end up being a rematch if he wins. Possibly, yeah. So I mean, just all depends. So like you said, your father managed, you said, or he, promoted? Yeah, no, he managed Roberto Durant. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, that, you know, the pedigree not, goes back a long 30, time. Yeah. So, I mean, my so my father's my question. Champions I've worked with 
about 50 to 60. Uh, Ready, said again. Excuse me. I'll give it to Yeah, 50 to 60 of uh, current or former world champions I've worked with. Um, just, just boxing family. So my question basically is like, since you've been around the sport so long and been around big fights like a Wilder pay-per-view with Tyson Fury and others, have you ever seen a super fight negotiated in the manner that Wilder and Joshua are negotiating in the sense that Joshua already has a set venue well, and look, date? Eddie, Eddie's made fights before. He knows what he needs to call when it's time to make a fight. You know, and, and, and he, he, There's one guy who makes all these big fights happen. It's Al Hayman. Whether it's Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather versus Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather versus Canelo, Wilder. I mean, we go on and on. The biggest fights who have been made in the last decade is who? Al Heyman's made him. So he knows what he's got to do. I don't think fights are made on social media. That's not the way the business has, has occurred. When, when we, when Robert was signed to fight Floyd Mayweather, we had that deal done for four months. No one knew about it. Not one word from nobody. You know, and it was done properly. Showtime announced it. And promoters announced it the way it's supposed to be done. You know. But do you think that a deal could be reached with Anthony Joshua saying, "You got to fight me on this date, and you got to fight me in this location"? You think that a deal will be able to be reached when there's already pre-existing stipulations like you got to fight on the zone and you got to fight April 13th? Well, I don't think you're going to know in, in any deal with any stipulations. You go to the table and if who's got the best deal, that's what that's what you make it. Now, they zone like, I like what Eddie's doing. I like, you know, I, I purchased they zone. And I sat back and I wanted to watch it. And, and I got pretty good internet. I probably got, you know, top line internet. And, and, and it stops, you know what I'm saying? And like, I'm, I'm watching and I'm like, you know, I like what he's doing and everything, but I, I'm, I want to sit back on my couch. I want to put on the TV. I want to just watch the fight. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go through the whole process of, of streaming, stopping, and not stopping. You miss a great knockout. So, at the end of the day, you also got to look at not just money. You got to look at exposure. You got to look at all the things when you're, when, when you're, when you're trying to build but, a star. That's what I'm saying. Isn't that a roadblock coming into the negotiation already having those prerequisites? Look, I think it's pretty clear Joshua probably doesn't want to fight Wilder. I mean, I think it's pretty clear. I'm not saying he can't win. You know, I think he could definitely win, but... You know, they're, they're probably thinking if we can make $20 million consistently, why fight him now? Let's wait a few more years, you know? Mm -hmm. that, that's my take on it. I think Wilder's a, little, a lot more eager to fight Joshua than Joshua is to fight uh, Wilder. And what do you think of Big Baby? Where is he at in this picture? Obviously, you know, he seems like his alliance is going to fall with the zone, but he seems like a pretty good pay-per-view option for either of the, you know, winner Wilder Fury or Joshua. Do like you see that as a, yeah, like a pay-per-view? I like him. I, I think he's got a, you know, he's, he's a good fighter. He's got a, Know, good persona about him. He's a good talker. I think, yeah, he's a good fighter for either guy. So you I think, think he's, he's a good enough dance in partner? January. They called about one of our fighters for Spilka to fight him on his own, actually. And we're, we're seeing if maybe we do that fight. But yeah, I think he's there. I think he's there. Oh, I mean, you've managed Spilka too? We work with Spilka, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he ended up taking the Maurice Vach fight in Poland, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. So who else you got, man? Look, you, you mentioned a name, yeah. and then all of a sudden there's yeah, a new guy. Yeah. I mean, I work with over 100 guys, so I, mean, I wow. can't say exactly who, but I mean, you know. Wow. And not all Latino, right? No, no. no. From everywhere in America. And out of 100, the only guy that we need to be looking out for is Mario Barrios? Oh, no, no. You told me who's coming up. Coming up? Yeah. You're coming up, I mean... We have Joey Spencer. You know, okay. Oh, that's Joey your Spencer. guy, too. Joey Spencer's a bad boy. Yeah, yeah. We're watching some him. tremendous young fighter. He's on the come-up. He fights January 13th. I mentioned you, Caleb Plant. I mentioned you, David Benavides. Yes, I, mean, yes. I mentioned you a bunch of guys. Now, but those guys are on the coming. I mean, Benavides is a champ, and Caleb is about to be. About to I'm be talking about prospect young, young level. Young kids coming up. Um, man, my mind's so fogged up. It's hard. It's, it's hard on the yeah, spot. It's yeah, it's no problem. Spot. It's but look, man, thank you for your guys. time. Look out for Joey Spencer. I will Before say I let you go, give me a prediction on this uh, pay-per-view buys. First, Spence... Spence um, I'm not, I'm not good at all that stuff, the pay-per-view buys no. all that stuff. I guess 200 $250? Two, 300 Okay, yeah, okay, what about this one? Wilder wants 2.5 for this. 2.5 million homes? That's what he yeah. wants. Yeah, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. What'd you think? I don't know, man. It's, it's so difficult nowadays because everyone steals internet. All the yeah. guys I know, I'm from, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the street growing up. Yeah. Everyone steals internet, and, and not even the streets. You got... I was in Uber the other day, got an old 65-year-old guy, and he's telling me how he's stealing internet. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just young guys, it's older guys. Everyone knows how to, you know, beat the game. So I think that's what's her pay-per-view. So yeah. it's really hard to get a gauge, but I mean, it's an interesting fight. It's a fight, I think, you know. In the perfect world, what would you want it to do? This fight? Yeah. 
the for 2.5 million, like oh, Deontay, okay. right? Okay. Now, 500 grand, I think, would be nice. Okay. Right? 500 is really, if he did 500, I think it's great. If it does more than that, it's probably, you know, really good. Do you know the betting bookies have it like um, negative money for Wilder? Like he's, he's a, a minus, like one, 160 mm -hmm. for decision, mm -hmm. but he's a plus 400 for the knockout. Who's a plus 400? Um, excuse me. Plus 400 for the decision. Yeah, of course. Minus um, yeah. Yeah, that's what they 160 with, that's for what they the knockout. Canelo too. And Fury is plus 600 for the if knockout. you're going to bet, what would you bet? Wilder knockout or decision? Well, that's what I'm asking you. Well, the, the bookies know what they're doing. <laughs> but it sounds like the bookies are setting it up for the distance. They see it going the distance. Oh, you're saying that you're saying it's it's plus 400 for Deontay for the knockout? No, no, no. it is for the decision. For the decision, yeah. plus 400. Yeah. Yeah, because they're saying it's not going to go to the decision. But, the, thing with but Floyd it's was, only like minus 132 or 182 for the knockout. That's not that much. No, it's not that much. At and all. then it's like two minus 200 for Fury for the decision. So it's they have it's it as fight. an even fight. Look, I mean. If, if Fury can get back to what he was three years ago, it's going to be a competitive, real close fight. I and mean, then Wilder probably stop him late, and he could be losing. If, if Fury shows up like he's probably showed up the last few times, he's probably going to get knocked out earlier. Mm. You know? But, I mean, it's, it's, it's an interesting fight. I don't count off Fury now. Fury, he's a guy who believes in himself. He's a big guy. He, he knows what he's doing. The question is, can he get back that get back that rhythm, get back that, that you know, what, what he once had in the Clisco fight? And it's hard to tell. Well, all right, Lou, thanks. What man. is up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.